हेलो माय डियर बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स आई होप एवरीबॉडी कैन हियर मी एंड एवरीबॉडी कैन सी मी क्लियरली इफ इट इज ऑडिबल इफ इट इज विजिबल लेट मी नो इन द चैट विद अ थम्स अप विद अ यो सो दैट वी कैन गेट स्टार्टेड हेलो तेन याद वेलकम तेन याद नाइस टू सी यू हियर हाय नरेंद्र रेड्डी वेलकम मैन वाइशाल अरविंद विजय कुमार गौरी fantastic fantastic very nice to see you people here let's wait for your friends to join and then we will get started because my dear students we are starting the second chapter how excited are you all i am very very excited i am interested to know how this session turns out okay we are officially moving on to the second chapter of your 11th standard hi sanvi welcome hello kritika welcome kritika ankit shreyas welcome welcome guys shweta welcome a very good evening to all of you samiksha welcome shama welcome tanmay very good evening tanmay harshavardhan sejal is also here yes sanvi that is a spirit even i am very excited because this chapter will build on what we learnt in set so we learnt good amount of basics in set right now we will take it forward and we will see how what we learnt is going to be useful that is what is thrilling that is what i am looking forward for got it hi nanda kishore ashrita very good evening samuel john akriti sharwin ishani rajani firdo sanjum danush laksa prasadin so sweet of you guys you're all on time and i will get started with the second chapter for 11th standard which is relations and functions so we are going to look at relations and functions very important because guys let me give you a brief idea something which will excite all of you did you all know that functions is the basics of calculus are you all aware of it i know everybody thinks sir calculus we learn in 12th standard na sir yes that's correct but did you know that functions is actually the starting point it is the growth stage of calculus you didn't know that na so now that you know please pay attention because if you are if your basics of functions are right then it might help you a lot in understanding calculus got it so now that you are all aware of it please be attentive and please make sure you grasp whatever i'm giving you and i will teach you in a very easy manner and slow manner don't worry about it yes fantastic hello adarsh welcome man so many of you are not aware that's great so now that you know please be serious okay akriti i am doing great akriti yes it has been amazing but the lockdown obviously is boring you have to stay indoors nothing to do but it's okay i think uh, if we stay in indoors for one or two months the number of corona virus cases might come down then maybe we can enjoy life okay so that is what is running on my mind right now shreyas yes shreyas we'll get started so people for those who are new to this channel many of you are thinking who is this person and especially my beard is not there so people might be wondering who is this new guy so let me quickly introduce me uh my name is shumon joseph and i teach mathematics at vedantu so when i say i teach mathematics at vedantu i teach for the 11th and 12th standard so i teach for j mains as well as j advance got it so that is what i do in vedantu and i was teaching the toppers batch last year the year before ekalavya batch but this year i i am in youtube because i want to take care of you guys so that's why i have come here and i'm taking one of the vedantu pro batches some of my students are already here okay so i will talk about that at the end how you can join my batch and all that but now what did i do why am i a teacher in vedantu one of the biggest reason is guys i have gone through the same process as you so i was a small boy i also prepared for j mains i also prepared for j advance and i cleared all of these exams i even wrote kvpy and i cleared it twice in my 11th as well as in my 12th so that is why i am here to help you all secure a good rank why a good rank is essential see i am not that kind of a teacher who pressurizes students to get rank the reason why i want you all to do well is because your future will be secure 
So when you go into a college, you study in a good college, you get placed easily. So that is the very reason why I encourage you, why I motivate you. Okay, so I hope you understand that and I hope everybody will work very hard as a family, as a team. Got it? In case you want to talk to me, if you want to ask me anything personal, you can message me on here. You can message me on Instagram. So this is my Instagram ID. That's my personal account. And you can know what I do apart from teaching by following me over there. Okay, great. So shall we begin? Gauri Shankar says, let's begin our class, sir. Samita, welcome Samita, nice to see you. Welcome, Ishita, I'm sorry, Ishika is also here. Fantastic. So people, the most important slide is right on your screen over here. How many of you know the name of this channel? Okay, don't attend the sessions without knowing the channel name, okay? The channel name is We Enthuse. So We Enthuse is the English channel for J Mains and J Advance started by Vedantu. So we saw all your requests. Many people are requesting, sir, can you teach in English? We want English JE channel because all the channels in YouTube, most of them are teaching in Hindi, right? So that is why you people requested and we at Vedantu listen to you like we always do. Vedantu is always receptive to the requests of students. And that's why we have this channel and that's why we are having a wonderful session right now. Got it? So in case you are new, please do subscribe because I am not the only teacher here. You have two more fantastic teachers. I hope you know them. Vazim sir and Shreyas sir. They are all extraordinary teachers, physics and chemistry. Go and check out their videos when you can. I am sure you will fall in love. Okay? So definitely subscribe to this channel, share the video to your friends and like it to encourage your teachers. Got it? And Adarsh, whether we'll have it or not, I will announce it by Wednesday's class, Adarsh. Please, in YouTube, don't talk about Vedantu's class. I'm sure I will let you know by Wednesday. Don't worry about it, okay? Because it will confuse the other students. They will not know what is pro. And they'll think we have an extra class in YouTube. So guys, if you are my pro student in Vedantu, yes, we might have an extra class this week and I will announce it tomorrow. Got it? I hope that is clear, Adarsh. Perfect. Now, before we get started, one small quote. I don't know whether Einstein had told this, but it was very interesting. So I thought I will share it with all of you so that you get inspired, so that you get excited. Got it? So can you all read through this? Do you agree with it or not? Can you all read through it and let me know with a thumbs up? Everybody, if I had an hour to solve a problem, if I give you one hour to solve a question. So he says that he spends 55 minutes to think what is the approach. And finally, five minutes is spent to solve it and then write it down. Okay. So that is a very, very interesting quote, right? So whenever we are given a problem, many of us, what we do is we jump on it. We jump on the question and we start solving right away. So what I want you to do, especially those who are preparing for J advance and J mains, na, you should develop this habit where you think into the question. You should think into the question, figure out four to five steps and only then you start solving. Of course, in J mains, not every problem is one hour. We have only three minutes. So you should not, you should not keep thinking. Then you will become like this without any tag attached to you. You'll just become an old person. Okay, so don't just keep thinking, but yeah, at least one or two steps you have to work it out mentally. So that's what I wanted to convey. Okay, I'm not saying that you should keep thinking, grow old and you know, have gray hair like this. No, that's not the point. The point is at least one, two steps you have to go inside the question. Are you all clear with it? Exactly. Fantastic people. So with that, let's begin our class. But before I begin, like I always say, e-learning has become very common these days. You're learning in school, you're learning in coaching institute, wherever you are, everything has become online because you're not supposed to leave our house, right? So I didn't see sunrise for almost like two, three weeks now. So I hope you guys are at least waking up early and you're seeing it. 
because of the lockdown a lot of changes are taking place right so we need to adjust to that we need to make the best use of it likewise your education also cannot be paused your education you cannot you know compromise on it sir lockdown is there so education i will take it chill sir i will not study much so that might be a very disastrous situation guys because even though lockdown is there even though exams are getting postponed it will happen so you can't just keep chilling you can't just keep pushing it away okay so that is why i'm saying don't compromise on education if you are looking out for something vedantu is there because we have proven track record vedantu is the first online platform when was vedantu started maybe you know it last year maybe because of corona virus you are able to know vedantu but do you know that vedantu was there in 2014 how many of you knew this vedantu was there in 2014 got it so much before corona virus we started online way back in 2014 got it so it was not because of covid not because of everybody changing to online no no we were there much before so we are the pioneers and that is why the results that is why the results we have proven technology where people are performing well with our sessions with our notes and with our guidance okay so please check it out and i will talk about this at the end of the class i will show you how to join my sessions so i also take classes in vedantu some of my students are here adarsh samiksha and a lot of other people are also here so they are all from my batch i'm sure you guys also can try to join if you are interested and it might be a great journey for all of us okay so i'll talk about it at the end if you are convinced do join it but do join it soon because my batch started one week back so as of now you guys have only missed two or three classes okay so it is not very late but it will become late by next week got it so don't delay if you want to join you join it after today's session i'll tell you what to do got it and today at 6 o'clock i have a big surprise do you all know that if you if you listen to that surprise everybody will join today everybody will join today i will promise that surprise is epic 6 o'clock that is a session you, did you all see the channel did you all see the channel i am taking a session at 6 o'clock in v enthuse and it is about vip vip is what we are all treating you like vips man teachers are not getting treated like vip students are only vips i don't know why i wish i was a student now so much power students have no back in the day when teacher hits a student parents will scold the student now if a teacher hits a student teacher is only scolded see the power of students right crazy but anyway let's get into studies so today we are going to look at the basics of relations and functions got it so i'm going to talk about it listen very carefully i hope you're all ready and you're all excited can you let me know in the chat how excited are you people vip is very important problem i don't know i am not going to tell it now then what's the point of 6 o'clock class man then i'll come there and not do anything or what so 6 o'clock you wait for it i'll come and tell what is vip i will tell you the benefits but before that let me know how excited you are so we can get started because it's already time everybody let me know daniel yes daniel i will complete it by jan or feb it will take a lot of time daniel but we will do it together we will do it slowly because as no hurry daniel let's do it at our own pace got it very good very good fantastic akriti is very excited fantastic akriti satvika fantastic sakshi tomar welcome sakshi great so let's begin our class guys first of all i will show you what i have done so far can you all have a look at it and say that we have done it aren't you excited we did the bridge course where we covered three important topics modulus greatest integer function and inequalities amazing right and we also did logarithms so we did the bridge course then we moved on to the chapter set and there i taught you so many things we learned what is a set types of set cardinality cardinality based problems and we also saw how to represent an interval so that is the power of attending sessions regularly 
in the beginning you might have felt that we are learning very slow we are learning very very small things but over time can you believe we have done this much isn't that crazy i feel so happy whenever i see that because every day when we do we do little bit little bit little bit little bit but over a period of time it looks so huge now that looks beautiful that gives you a sense of satisfaction i don't know whether you guys experience that but for me it means a lot it means a lot because i know small thing every day will become a massive thing got it you are missing breadda who is that not bread man beard i know i also miss it after i shaved i also regret it but it's too too irritating too itchy so it's better to remove it and barber shops were all closed so i had to do it myself and this is what i could come up with okay it's okay man after 2 3 days it will be back don't worry i am also worried if you keep talking about it then i might feel bad okay so let's get started people now today's objective what do we have so today's objective we have ordered pair got it so first i am going to teach you what is an ordered pair then we'll do some problems based on it and then i'm going to talk about cartesian product offset got it so these are the topics which i'm going to teach you so please listen carefully and try to take away something important it is a very small portion some of you might already know it but it's going to be fun okay so shall we begin guys are you all ready so first of all what is a relation can you guys tell me what is a relation whatever you know don't tell me textbook definition my class is not like that sir a relation is so 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 sir sir from ncrt i memorize sir so not that guys it's okay if you memorize great but i just want to know what is relation in general blood relation great so you can say that blood relation my brother my sister like that you can say that is also correct link between two things absolutely you can say that samiksha samiksha you have nailed it so that's what i was looking for okay relatives relating something kind of bonding yes you are all right so when you say a relation do you all agree that should be two things first of all all time in first class thank you that is so nice of you i am glad you are here so first of all guys are you all aware whenever we talk about a relation we need two objects do you agree with me how many of you agree with me give me a yo give me a thumbs up because you cannot talk about relation when you have only one entity when you just have one object in the whole world no nothing is there you have only one object can you talk about relation no because you have to compare it with something na you need to compare it with something so that is why relation always requires two objects but when we talk about set so when you write a set na so for example let us say the set of all prime numbers single digit prime numbers so you have 2 3 5 7 so this is a set of all single digit prime numbers now i have single single elements i am not having two elements to compare with right so if i need to create two elements to compare with how do i do that that is where our legend jumps into the picture our hero for the day our hero for the day is ordered pair so ordered pair will give us two elements to compare to play to do whatever relation you want to do so that is why ordered pairs are very very important so because ordered pairs my dear children will help us to jump from set which is the first chapter to relations which is the second chapter so that link is provided by ordered pair because like i said a relation you need to have two objects to compare and that is where you bring in ordered pair are you all clear with it did you all like it hello ananya welcome ananya very nice to see you here i hope you like the lectures in our channel okay great so with that let's move forward now what is an ordered pair an ordered pair is nothing but two elements a comma b written inside parenthesis so this is called as parenthesis right i hope i spelled it correct so this is what we call as parenthesis and if you write 
two elements inside it. This is what we call as an ordered pair. And have you guys done this before? Yes, you all have done it before in your 10th standard. Did you do the chapter called as coordinate geometry? In coordinate geometry, didn't, didn't you mark points 1, 2? Your teacher would have told, mark it on the Cartesian plane. What do you do? You draw the x-axis, y-axis and then you mark 1 in the x-axis and 2 in the y-axis. Then you plot the point. So that is basically an ordered pair. Why it is given the name ordered pair? The name ordered pair came because the order is important, my dear. So if I write B comma A, is it the same? If it is a set, you might say it is same. But this is not set. This is ordered pair. So they both are different. Are you all cool with it? So A comma B ordered pair is different from B comma A. Are you all okay with it guys? Did you all understand it now? So that is why the name ordered pair. I hope you guys are fine with it. Got it? Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now I will move forward and show you some interesting questions. Okay. The elements in the ordered pair can be same as well. That is another important point. For example, you can have an ordered pair 2 comma 2 also. Because they, they are two elements which are taken in this ordered pair. I want you to understand that. Got it? So in a set, you cannot repeat elements. But in ordered pair, you can have the same element. Are you all clear with it? Please make sure you guys are all aware of it. Got it? Now, let me ask you some basic questions. Which of the following is an ordered pair? Very simple. Let's start off with easy things. And as we go forward, we will do difficult ones. Everybody, give me the answer. This is J.E. Advanced question. 2025. Okay. 2025 it came. And many of my VNTU students have got it correct. You guys are awesome. So yes, people, the answer is option B. It is 1, 1 separated or kept inside a open bracket or open bracket you can call it as parenthesis okay so it is option b which is absolutely right a is wrong because this is curly bracket that means it's a set and in a set you cannot repeat elements so it'll be just one element and this is interval interval means what it contains everything between it contains everything between one and one it if it contains everything between one and one it is just one element one so obviously A is wrong, C is wrong and D is none of these. So let's check B. B is absolutely correct because it follows the criteria or the rule which I gave you in the previous slide. Whenever you want an ordered pair, you can have same elements and they should be put inside open brackets. So that is what we call as an ordered pair. Everybody clear? Shall we move forward? Everybody? Can you all give me a thumbs up? C is not clear. Deepti, that is an interval. For example, if I say 0 to 1, what does it mean Deepti? That means you draw the number line Deepti. You write minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and so on. So 0 to 1, everything included between them. So that is what we call as interval Deepti. So that means this includes 0 because square bracket is there. Whenever square bracket is there, that element is included. Whenever square bracket is there, that element is included. So 0 and 1 are included and everything in between them. For example, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, everything. Are you all clear? I hope you guys have understood it. Perfect guys, amazing. So with that, I hope you guys have completely nailed it. Let me move forward to some more questions which I have for you. Please do it guys, everybody. So, quadratic equation, I have made videos before in this channel. So, please check it out. Just go to the playlist of this channel and check out quadratic. You will definitely enjoy it. Hello, Vedika. Sanvi is right. Yes, Kaushik, Ishika, Sejal, Avinas. So many people. Samiksha, Kaushik, Abhinav. Then we have Shama, Ashish, Shashidhar, Avantika, Deepti. Very good, Deepti. <laughs> Sanvi, 
यू आर लेजेंडरी महक जा इज ऑल्सो राइट गौरी आशीष सृजन इन ब्रदर्स आकृति हर्षिता सैमुएल देन रजानी इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट भूमिका श्रीजत सतीश विजय कुमार आईज ऑन बाइट्स very good trap world is also right so people the answer for this question is option c because like i said every ordered pair can be represented as a coordinate so if i have an ordered pair let's say 1 comma 2 so it is nothing but a point on the cartesian plane cartesian plane you have studied in your 10th standard you plot your x axis and y axis 1 comma 2 means one unit on the x axis and two units on the y axis so it will be a point over here so this is called as your 1 comma 2 point so you see this ordered pair is nothing but a point on the cartesian plane are you all clear with it everybody clear shall we move forward very good yaditi arora sneha and gaming dudes very good sashidhar fantastic kaushik new look no man i didn't try to have this look do you think i i'll purposely create this look no barber shop and i'm scared to call urban club to my house what if the person coming to the house has corona virus so i'm scared just like you guys and like i tell i don't simply say things i also practice it i am staying indoors i don't let anybody inside because covid situation is very bad okay so just to be safe i did it myself and it turned out very bad so please don't keep reminding me i'll complete the class then we'll talk about it okay so let's keep going forward guys let's move forward okay so what do we have here let's say when you have two ordered pairs okay now people are trying to console me thank you guys i feel good now <laughs> great so people let's come back to studies okay so let's say you have two ordered pairs let's say you have a comma b and you have x comma y okay so when do you say these two are equal when do you say that these two are equal you say that these two are equal only when a is equal to x and b is equal to y got it so that's how you say that two ordered pairs are equal are you all clear with it very simple shall we move forward great 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 so i hope you guys are ready now i'll give you a beautiful question based on this Let's see if you guys are able to crack it. So I have given you some example. Please have a look at it. So one comma two is not the same as two comma one because I told you, my dear students, in ordered pair the order is important. So one comma two is not the same as two comma one. Please make a note of it. Okay. But of course, one comma one is the same as one comma one, and one comma three is the same as one comma three. Got it. So if you say two ordered pairs are equal. then both both should be equal respectively got it so here we go people the question right on your screen please try to complete it i will give you exactly 30 seconds hello balaganeshan gauri is asking hotspot hotspot only for vedantu students if you want hotspot you have to join my batch see that's another way i can i can ask you guys i can tell if you want hot spot come to my batch <laughs> great sashidhar yes let's check it whether you are right or wrong sashidhar are you sure sanvi seems to be right very good sanvi sanvi is legendary samuel john mehak abhinav then we have vishani yak akriti yadati then we have shridat sharvin gaming dudes laksha prasad and samiksha and we have shama then we have leena who is vedika tenyath is also right very good tenyath sashidhar laksha prasad and yes 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 my dear boys and girls rajani arham jain arham jain is also right sejal very good sejal little one is also right ashish kumar anvika very good anvika yes gayatri is asking sir what is this hot spot sir hot spot is a feature in vedantu So if I give you a question, I will start a hotspot, and you guys can answer by choosing one of the option. Okay, so it's a very cool feature, but it's only in Vedantu, not in YouTube. Okay, so if you want to learn more, you can check it out in the regular classes at Vedantu. 
Quiz is more interesting than hotspot. Absolutely, Manisha. You are a senior, right? You are a 12th standard student. You have been here for so long. So you know what's interesting and what's not. But don't worry, we are continuously improving, okay? I'm sure you yourself would have seen it now, Venisha. When you joined and right now, there are lots of technological improvements in Vedantu. Isn't it? Great. Thank you, Aram. That's his, that is so nice of you. Very good, Akriti. Akriti, I'm glad you joined. I am waiting to see you in class. Maybe on Wednesday, we'll catch up. Okay? Thank you, Hemant. So people, how do you solve this question? The way you solve it is, you equate both the x coordinate, okay, you can think of it like that. It's an ordered pair, right? So we can equate both the x coordinate. So what will you get? You'll get 3a plus 2 is equal to 2a plus 3. So just solve it like a normal equation. Are you all clear? So bring the 2a to the left hand side. So you'll get 3a minus 2a is equal to 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1. So I'll get a is equal to 1. Laddu. Then equate the y coordinates. So what will you get? You will get b plus 3 is equal to 4. And you will get b is equal to 4 minus 3. So b is equal to 1. So a is 1, b is 1 is the answer. So what is the answer? It is option A. Are you all clear with it? Did you all like it? Gauri Shankar is my student. That's amazing Gauri. I'm again getting to know a lot of people. So we will... Probably by the end of this month, I will know who is my student and who is not in the Vedanta Pro subscription. So don't worry guys, I will definitely get to know you people. Sri Devi, that's fantastic. Sanjeevi, that's amazing. Yes, Aram. Absolutely. If you work hard, you can score full. Okay. Arnav, thank you man. That is a very much needed compliment. Thank you for that. Abhinav has got it. So people, shall we move forward? Are you all done? Can you all give me a yes? Can you all give me a thumbs up? Let me see some excitement people. Everybody is sleepy here. Huh? Right at 4 o'clock, 4.30. Yes, Sanvi. Sanvi is all smiles all the time. <laughs> good, good, good. I hope you guys at least come here and have fun because I know the COVID situation is quite pathetic out there and it is hard for everybody. But anyway, it's good that we are all meeting every day. Fantastic people. So let's move forward and we will go to the next one which I have for you. The next, pro, the next concept is Cartesian product. Okay. Cartesian product is very important because I thought you ordered pair. But nobody asked me, sir, how, how will I get an ordered pair? Nobody asked me that question. That shows people will believe whatever I say. That's why Mendy quiz, I am the champion. Whenever I say something, people believe me and they'll go for that option. So you should ask me questions. How does it come? Got it? Definitely Vedika, we will do that. Definitely. Okay. So now let me help you guys understand how we create ordered pairs. Okay. Listen very carefully. Listen very, very carefully. So let's say you have two sets. Let's say you have set A as A comma B. And let's say you have set B as 1 comma 2. Now, how do you create ordered pair? How do you create ordered pair? Okay. So, you create order pair by something called as Cartesian product. So, Cartesian product means, Cartesian product means you multiply two sets. So, you basically do A cross B. Or you can do B cross A also. Are they both the same? Are they both the same? If you say yes, what you'll get? You'll get anda. Anda will come to your house. Okay. So don't say yes. They both are not the same. Okay. They are not the same. They are different. Clear? Now what is A cross B? A cross B, how do I find out, sir? So A cross B is nothing but the set of ordered pairs A comma B such that A belongs to A and B belongs to B. What does this mean? It contains all the ordered pairs A comma B such that A belongs to capital A and B belongs to capital B. So what I will do, listen carefully. Take first element in A. So A is the first one. So you start with A. You write A comma 1. Then you write A comma 2. Now A is over. With A I completed it. 
because a comma one is done, a comma two is done. There is no more element in B, so a is over. Now I'll go to B. So B comma one I'll write, and B comma two I will write. Are you all clear? Everybody. So that is your a cross b. Now gaming dudes, I will answer your question. Please wait. Now what is b cross a? Now when you write b cross a, gaming dude, please listen carefully. b cross a means it will contain all ordered pairs, all ordered pairs b comma a, such that b belongs to capital B and a belongs to capital A. Are you getting it? The difference. So how will it be? It will be 1 comma A, 1 comma B, then it will be 2 comma A and it will be 2 comma B. Now gaming dude, you think about it and tell me, are they same? Of course not man. Because whatever you write first, that set element should take the first place in ordered pair. If I write A first, then that set element should take the first place. Are you getting it? That is the technique to understand. Did you all like it? Now, if I give you any Cartesian product, will you be able to do it? Yes. Can you guys give me a thumbs up? Rasamalai. Exactly, Deepti. Rasgulla. It's as good as Rasgulla. As simple as that. Okay. Because now Laddu is over. Laddu is gone. It is even sweeter than Laddu. So I hope you guys got it. Let's keep moving forward, my dear children. Let's try to take some questions okay so can you do this find the cartesian product a cross b and b cross a both both let's see who is doing it and fear the one please tell me what is your doubt i will help you ranjan says alva yes i thought alva is common in south india do north indians also say alva i have no idea guys i think it's there in north india also right because I know there's something called as Bombay Alva. Right? But yeah, frequently Alva is used in South only. I'm very sure about it. Great. <laughs> Suraj, what happened, man? Suraj is saying his head is aching. Listening to me. <laughs> Ranjan, welcome. Great to have you here. Of course, Alva is in North India as well, sir. What are you saying? Yeah, Shweta, I know. You guys are next level in that. <laughs> Where is your home? Gauri Srinath, I stay in Chennai. I am from South India. So, Muthu Kumar says, Sir, very difficult question, sir. Tough question. No, Muthu, it is not tough, Muthu. I will help you, don't worry. Okay, let's see who are all correct. Sajal, yes. Avantika, yes. Typical Anvika, Samuel. Prajwala, thank you so much. Gauri Shankar, let's check it Gauri, don't worry. I think most of you are right. Now, don't copy paste what others are doing, okay? Please try to solve it. I know now it's very easy. All you need to do is drag your mouse, copy, control C, control V, done. So don't give me that alva. I know this question is alva, but you don't give me alva. Got it? So I hope you guys got it. Everybody try to solve it. That's what I want. Clear? So shall we move it? Shall we move and try to solve it? Everybody? Great. Now, let's see what to do over here. So I told you I want to find A cross B, right? So how do you find A cross B? A cross B is nothing but it contains all the ordered pairs A comma B such that small a belongs to capital A and small b belongs to capital B. So that is what we want to do. Let's see how to do that. So first, what is the technique? A cross B means I start with elements of A. So let's pick one first. With one, I will complete ordered pairs with these two elements. So I'm gonna do one comma two, and I'm gonna do one comma four. That's it, one is over, one's quota is done. Okay, now second one, I will take second element two. So what will I get? Two comma two, then I'll get two comma four. Are you all clear with that? Then I'll have three. Because 2 is over. Now when I take 3, I'll have 3 comma 2. And I'll have 3 comma 4. Are you all done with it? So this is your Cartesian product. A cross B. A cross B. Now what will be B cross A? B cross A will be equal to what? So I start with the element of B first now. 
because b is in the starting right so you start with element of b which is 2 so with 2 you finish ordered pairs with these three elements so it'll be 2 comma 1 it'll be 2 comma 2 and it'll be 2 comma 3 then 2's quota is over now start with 4 so with 4 i need to complete ordered pairs with these three elements so i'll get 4 comma 1 4 comma 2 and 4 comma 3 are you all my dear boys and girls are you all cool with it did you all like it very good sashidhar sashidhar you have to put brackets man you are writing new mathematics sashidhar invented new maths and that method is correct but please put brackets come down to our mathematics okay so please don't forget to put brackets sashidhar that is very important okay that makes all the difference see ordered pairs you put brackets like this sashidhar and once you write all the ordered pairs, you need to enclose it in curly brackets. You need to enclose it in curly brackets because what is A cross B? A cross B is itself, A cross B is itself a set. It is a set. So that is a set which I have written. Got it? Everybody cool with it? So shall we move forward? Hello, Netra. Netra, very nice to have you here. Deepthi says, sir, it is not easy to type, sir. Okay, so Deepthi is a very sincere student. Deepthi, I thought you'd have done Control C, Control V of someone who typed it properly. Okay, but you are a sincere girl, so I will appreciate you for it. Good job. So guys, shall we move forward? Yes. Shall we go ahead? Are you all ready? Now you are all comfortable with Cartesian product. Fantastic. So let's move forward and have a look at what we have next so this is a solution i think i already wrote it so you guys can make a note of it go through it later on so we understand here that a cross b is not equal to b cross a everybody is cool with it yes akriti when i wrote j mains i was a state topper in fact i got state rank five so there were five people it was good most of them were my own classmates so i studied in a very good batch so I'll talk a little bit about it. So my batch was one of the best batches in Tamil Nadu and I got to study with very good students. Okay, that is why I did well because I'm also like you guys. I love to have fun. I love to enjoy life. I love to talk to friends and it was a nice time. I had a blast. I was never too serious and I was never too bad. Okay, but because my friends were all so good, Naturally, I had that fighting spirit. Like how in movies, initially hero will get so many beating, but he'll have that fire to save the heroine, no? So like that, I wanted to get into IIT. I wanted good competition and my friends were very good, okay? So because of that, I, I automatically did well and I got into IIT. But yeah, that is why I keep saying, no? Whom you surround yourself with, they matter a lot your friends, how good they study, that really, that really matters a lot, okay. So my friend was state rank 1 and I got state rank 5. So I got 300 marks out of 360 and uh, you will laugh at my marks because I got highest in chemistry. <laughs> so I got highest in chemistry, then I got uh, 99 in physics, then I got 96 in maths. So of course, I got lowest in maths. That's why I thought I will teach you maths. Okay, so that is my split. So I wrote in the year 2013. So mine was the first J mains batch. I was the first batch. Before that, J mains was not called J mains. Okay, before this, J mains was not called J mains. J mains had a different name. It is called AI Triple E. It is all. It is called as AI Triple E. So now everybody is asking, sir, you hate chemistry, no sir, how did you score this much? It is out of 120. Yeah, all of them are out of 120. Yeah, chemistry, I didn't like it that much, but still, I ended up scoring very high. And uh, thankfully, because of that, I got a good rank, okay? So this is my background, and this is not to show that I did something very cool. This is to show that your friends matter, your surroundings matter, your competition matters, got it? So this is my background. I hope you guys are clear. Now, let's come back to topic. Okay. Now, 
coming back to topic guys why do you think a cross b is not equal to b cross a because of ordered pairs but there is one more good observation here did you notice the number of elements is same in both of them so if i write the number of elements in a cross b do you think it is equal to number of elements in b cross a are you all clear with that isn't that amazing crazy na no? so this result you have to remember i want everybody to remember this so a cross b b cross a will always have the same number of elements are you clear perfect let's go to questions now let's try to solve some questions so here we go please try to do it my dear boys and girls fiza nazir welcome amazing to have you here parameshwar reddy yes csk fan unfortunately ipl is closed down i knew it when rcb was playing good itself i knew something is going to happen surprisingly rcb played very well this year and ipl itself closed down i feel bad for them man okay so now people what is the answer did you all do it did you all do it everybody yeah yes 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 everybody is right sudarshan laksa prasad and rajani ashish ashita and then we have joseph we have sai lakshman deepthi akriti anjana then we have tenia then mehak sajal sashidharan great srajan smog muttu you guys are awesome ramya is also correct so the answer is option b why because when i say a cross b what do i do my dear children i take the first element of a and complete ordered pair with the elements of b so 1 comma 0 one ordered pair 1 comma 1 that will be one ordered pair now that is done so 1 is over take 2 so now 2 it will be 2 comma 0 and it will be 2 comma 1 so i said take 2 take to i hope you got that in movies they say that when they want to replay it again great sir tell five words in tamil guys there are lots of people from different states if i talk in tamil they will not understand anything okay so i'll talk at the end not right now so shall we move forward everybody yes simple question now before we go to the next one i have a simple riddle for you how many of you are interested to solve a riddle It's been a long time. How many of you are excited to solve the riddle? Yes, everybody. So, do you see this magic monkey? So, usually when you see monkeys in a circus, they are dressed like this, right? So, this monkey is doing some magic, and it is rolling the gears. So, this is what we call as gears, right? So, it is rolling the gear. You need to check which one of the two blocks. will this pointer hit will it go to 2 or will it go to 1 there is a 50 50 percent probability so don't simply tell one or two i know there are only two answers but please try it and then tell it please try it and then tell it yes akriti yesterday's riddle was next level but i don't know how many of you understood because it was from baseball not many indians are aware of baseball but anyway it's fine Who is telling the right answer? Hello, Durga. Welcome, Durga. Kirito is missing. Yes, even I am missing Kirito, but I think he is busy with classes. Himanya, great. Who is telling the right answer? Let me check. Is it one or two? Guys, come on, think about it. I don't think anybody has got it correct. No, 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 no. Muttu, fantastic, Muttu. Kaushik, yes, Kaushik. Very good, Abhishek. Yes. See, that is the power of a teacher. If I say one, people will say one. Guys, it's wrong. The answer was two only. Ha 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 ha. That is the power of a teacher. You should never believe what your teacher says. Okay. So the answer is two. It was not one. I just wanted to check whether you got it or not. Okay, so don't change your answer just because I am saying it. The answer is two. Why two, sir? Because this is left. Okay, so this will be right. 
So this will be left. And when it rotates left, the belt will rotate in the same fashion. See, the belt is rotating in the same fashion. So this will also be left. Got it? So this will be right. Now this will be left. Now belt is rotating in opposite direction. So if this is left, this will be right. If this is right, then this will be left. And this will be right. Okay, and this will be left. Are you getting it? So if this is left, this will be right. This will be left. This will be right. So if this is right, this will be left. Because opposite. If this is left, then this will be right. If this is right, then this will be right. If this is right, then this will be left. So if it goes left, it will hit 2. Amazing. Fantastic, no? no? Not a bad one, guys. It was a good one. I liked it. So most of the riddles are online, no. So I check. I love riddles. So I used to check it online even when I was in college. Okay. So whenever I used to check, most of the riddles are very, very bad. Okay. If I tell you those riddles, you will start. You will, you will stop coming to my classes. Okay. So it goes like this. If A and B are bored, what will they do? The answer is they'll put CD and watch. Okay. <laughs> Nowadays people don't even use CD. So I don't know whether you guys understand these jokes also. And the next one is, if E and H are sick, what will they do? If E and F are sick, they'll go to GH. Okay. So I don't want to crack such lame jokes. But anyway, that's why I, I found this suddenly. And this was very good. So I thought I'll share it with you. So shall we move forward, everybody? Great. So let's proceed. Now, many of you are now thinking, Sir, it is online education this year and I would want to get into Vedantu. So for those who did not get the previous joke, guys, GH means government hospital. Okay. So that is a GH in every city, every state. I think in Tamil Nadu, we have GH everywhere. Okay. So GH means government hospital. Okay. Okay, I hope you got the joke now. Sanvi is now regretting. I shouldn't have asked that. Great. So people, in case you are looking forward to join Vedantu, I will give you a small intro to what we do in Vedantu. So this is the platform. You see Abhishek sir here. And this is the way we show you the visual representation. You see Pulkit sir here. With animations we teach you so that your learning can be more effective. And we allow students to chat once in a while during the class so I can talk to you and I can un also unmute students. So if you have a microphone, you can even talk to me during the class. Got it? So everything is possible. These are some of the cool features. If you want to get a complete introduction, you need to join the batches which I take. I will talk about it at the end. In case you are interested, check it out. Okay? Perfect. Guys, the class is not over. We have something more, got it? We have something more coming up. First of all, what is the difference between A cross B and A union B and A intersection B? A union B means it has all elements in A and B. All elements, all elements in A and B. You will put all elements in A and B, combine them, you'll get A union B. What is A intersection B? It is just the common elements. And what is A cross B? A cross B means you will get all the ordered pairs. All the ordered pairs. Such that A belongs to capital A and B belongs to capital B. All ordered pairs like A comma B. Are you all clear? So they are all different. They are not the same. No Samuel, you are not getting blocked. I can see you. Okay, so shall we move forward? You guys are all clear with it? Fantastic. Great. This is just some basic thing which I wanted to recap. I have written it detailedly here. A union B means set of all elements. A intersection B means common elements. Whereas A cross B means it is a set of all ordered pairs formed by set A and B. Got it? Great. Now try to solve this my dear children. Everybody please do it quickly. Next class is at 6 o'clock, then one more class is at 9 o'clock. Okay, so today 6 o'clock I have a class, 9 o'clock I have a class, then tomorrow again at 9 o'clock I have a wonderful class. Okay, perfect. 
Latsa Prasadin, please pull the video back and have a look at it. It is nothing great, man. Very basic. Samuel, very good. Nancy, very good. Ishani, Surya, Shama, Netra, Abhinav, Anjana, Shweta, Jaiwant. Then we have Prajwala, Deepa, Deepti. Then we have Rajana. We have Sejal. Very good, very good. Tenyat is also right. Smoke, Samiksha, you guys are amazing. So the answer is option C. Why is it option C? Because what is A intersection B? A intersection B is only one element, right? Because they have only one element common. So A intersection B is nothing but the set of three. Are you all clear with that? Now that I need to cross it with A. So what is A intersection B cross A? So that will be equal to the set three cross product with one comma 2 comma 3 so what will I get I will get 3 comma 1 as one ordered pair then 3 comma 2 then I'll get 3 comma 3 are you all clear with this my dear children so that's the way you get option C are you happy with it shall I move forward yes very good Deepthi is saying clear like Swachh Bharat fantastic Sanvi fantastic Chaitanya very good Akriti fantastic Virza Sri Devi, great. So now let's move forward to the next one. What is the next one? What if you have three set? So when you have Cartesian product of three set, you will generate something called as ordered triplet. It is not ordered pair, it is ordered triplet. So what is ordered triplet? When you have A cross B cross C, you will get all the ordered triplets A comma B comma C such that A belongs to capital A, B belongs to capital B, C belongs to capital C. That is what you call as ordered triplet. So for example, if you have let's say A comma B and let's say uh, this is set A and set B is what? 1 comma 2 and set C is what? Set C is one element we'll say. We'll say E. Okay, so what is A cross B cross C? A cross B cross C will be all the ordered triplet. So A 1 E, it will be A 1 E comma A 2 E. So it will be A 2 E, then it will be B 1 E. So it will be B 1 E, then it will be B 2 E. So that is going to be the set of all ordered triplet. Did you all like it? Did you all like this? Can you all give me a thumbs up? Simple. Everybody cool with it? So how to plot this? This you will plot it in three dimension. Deepthi. It is not done on Cartesian plane. It is done on 3D plane. 3D space. It is done on 3D space. So the first one is your X coordinate. The second one is your Y coordinate. And the third one is your Z coordinate. So when you have three coordinates, you have to plot it in three dimensional space. So it is not Cartesian plane, it is 3D space. Got it? Are you all clear? So shall we move forward? Fantastic. Now let's go and take a question. Please do it my dear boys and girls. Let me check if you guys are right or wrong. Do it slowly. Very good. Fantastic, fantastic people. Harshit, please try it out, Harshit. These are all fantastic questions. Are you all done? Kaushik says A, Vegi says 1. Vegi says A, very good. Then Anjana, Sejal, Samuel, Jagrit. Nidhi, Samiksha, Typical Anvika, Deepthi, Shama, Jagrit, PSK, Sendhil, Bhumika, Mehak, Vedika, very good, very good, Hashida Mathur, Smog, Ishani, Nancy, Tahir, Vedika, Tenyat, Sridhat, Dark Fantasy, very good, you guys are awesome because all of you are absolutely correct, it is in fact option A which is the right answer, okay, so how do we do it? For all those who are wondering, sir, how sir, 
I did not understand, sir. Please explain, sir. So I will explain. Listen carefully. Okay. Dark fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> so there is one person named Dark fantasy. He got it correct. Great. So A cross B cross C means ordered triplet. So start with A. One, two, three. Now, one, three. No, no. It should be one, two, three. I did. Next will be one, two, four. Next will be 1, 2, 4. Got it? So now 1, 2 is over. Now it will be 1, 3. So 1, 3, 3. So next will be 1, 3, 3. And the last one will be 1, 3, 4. That's it. There is no other order triplet other than this. I hope you guys got it. Are you all clear? Shall we move forward? Fantastic people. Very good Sanjeevi. Very good Alan Walker fan club. You guys are amazing. So with that, let's keep moving forward, people. Now, how many of you realize this? Did you know this? The number of elements in A cross B is equal to number of elements in A multiplied with number of elements in B. Did you all know this? If you knew this, great. If you did not know this, make a note of it. Now, what does this mean? This means that, let me give you an example so that it is clear for all of you. So let's say set A is 1, 2, 3 and set B is A comma B. Now, the number of elements in A is what? Number of elements in A is nothing but 3 because 1, 2, 3, 3 elements are there. Number of elements in B is equal to what? 2 because there are 2 elements. Now, what is A cross B? A cross B is nothing but all the ordered pairs where small a belongs to A and capital uh, small b belongs to B. So, it will be 1 comma A and then you have 1 comma B. Then you have 2 comma A, then you have 2 comma B, then you have 2 comma uh, 3 comma A, 3 comma B. Are you all clear with it? So how many elements does A cross B have? The number of elements in A cross B is equal to 6. So can I say this 6 is coming from N of A into N of B? That's the formula. Did you all like it? So the number of elements in A cross B will be equal to number of elements in A multiplied with number of elements in B and the same thing you can extend it for triple product also. The same thing you can extend it for triple product also. Shall we move forward? Gauri Srinath, we will finish it off in 15 minutes. Okay, there are only few more things left out which I have to teach. Then we can talk for some time. Got it? Great. Abhinav, yes. Shama, yes. Very good Gauri Shankar. Sanvi is legendary. So fast. Very good. PSK Sendhil, Sanvi, Sejal, Ashrita, Anjana, Sanvi, Mehak. Then we have Bhumika. Then we have Durga, Abhinav, Shama, Nancy, Vedika, Laksa Prasadan, Harshit, Sai Lakshman, Nidhi. Very good, very good. Shivam Patil, Ishani, Zaid, Zahur. And then we have so many others getting it correct. Ram Kumar Mariyappan is also right. Fantastic guys. So that is absolutely correct people. The answer is option B for this question. So the number of elements in A cross B is equal to number of elements in A multiplied with the number of elements in B. Isn't that right? So that's going to be what? That's going to be 4 into 10 and that's going to be 40. As simple as that. Everybody cool with it? Shall I move forward? Yes. Very good, very good. So 40 is the answer. All those who said 40, you guys are epic. Keep going. Fantastic. Now, before we conclude today's session, I want to show you how to plot cross product or Cartesian product on the Cartesian plane. Okay. So you have 1, 2, 3 and B is 2, 4. So A cross B will be this. So how do you plot A cross B? A cross B will be 1 comma 2. 1 comma 2 is here. Then you have 1 comma 4. So 1 comma 4 is here. Then you have 2 comma 2. 2 comma 4. Then you have 3 comma 2. 3 comma 4. Are you guys clear? That's how you plot the points. That's how you plot the points. So I know A is 1, 2, 3. A is 1, 2, 3. B is what? 2 and 4. 
So if you want to plot A cross B, you see where all they are meeting. And those meeting points you have to plot. So that will be 6 in number, just like what we expected. Are you all clear? This is just a very simple one. Got it? Great. And let me show you a question based on that, so that you guys can solve it. Okay, so let me move back. Can you try plotting this? Please do it, everybody. What about three set mehak? Like I said, three set means it will be three dimensional space. I can't show you on board. Okay, that will be three dimensional space. Clear? So it is not going to be possible to represent it in 2D. I can try to show you, but it's difficult to explain. This is for NDA also. Yes, Robin Singh, whatever I'm teaching you is CBSE portion only. So you should be aware of all these things. Very good, Lena. Lena, that's right, you have four elements. But how do you plot it? I want you to do it and then tell me. So what is A cross B, my dear children? A cross B, first you tell me. That will help me to solve. So it will be 3 cross 2, 3 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 2, 4 comma 3. Are you all cool with it? Everybody? So what will I get? 3 comma 2. So 3 comma 2 is here. Then you will have 3 comma 3. So which will be over here. Then you will have 4 comma 2 and 4 comma 3. So these are the four points. Do you agree? Because A will have these two elements and B will have these two elements. So that's why you get these four elements. I hope you're all fine with it. Are you all clear? Shall I move forward? Hello Sahil, welcome man. Fantastic. So I'm so happy that you guys have understood these concepts so fast. Now there is another way of writing this and this is what I want you to pay attention because this will help in function. Why am I teaching relation, sir? Why are we learning relation, sir? You told function only is important. No, function is very important for calculus. Yes, man, absolutely correct. But to understand function, you need relations. That is why I taught you relation all this while. Now, this representation is very important. This is what we call as a mapping or you can call it as a arrow diagram. Either you can call it as an arrow diagram or you can call it as a mapping. Everybody cool with it? Dark fantasy, yes, it is important from JE point of view also. Okay, even for JE mains and JE advanced, it is important. Got it? So let's try to have a look at it. So again, we have set A, which is 2, 4, 6. We have set B, which is 1, 3. Now, if I do A cross B, what will I get? I will get all the ordered pairs. That is nothing but every combination. 2 can go to 1, 2 can go to 3. So, 2 comma 1, 2 comma 3. Now, 4 can go to 1, 4 can go to 3. So, 4 comma 1, 4 comma 3. Are you clear? Then you will have 6 can go to 1, 6 can go to 3. So, you will have 6 comma 1, 6 comma 3. Are you all clear with it, everybody? Did you all like it? As simple as that. So that is why these arrow diagrams are very easy, very important to go to functions. Got it? Very easy, no? Brilliant. So guys, that is all I wanted to do today. Why is the board stuck? Something happened to the board. Ah, okay, now it's fine. Can you please solve it, everybody? Everybody, please try to have a look at it. Try to solve it. Yes, Laksa Prasad and you are right. All of them are easy questions, but good concepts. Very good concepts. So please make a note of it. Everybody, complete it fast, guys. I want you to solve it fast so that we can move forward. Mangalam, I give assignment every day. Please join our Telegram group. Guys, many people are not aware. Thank you, Mangalam, for asking me because even Tenyat was not aware. My dear boys, girls, ninjas, minions, warriors, all audience, hear, hear with your ear, okay? Please listen carefully. The assignments are shared in the telegram group. So please check it out after the class. By night, it will be shared. By 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, it will be shared in our telegram group, Vedantu telegram group, okay? Vedantu Enthus telegram group. 
our own channel we have a telegram group please join that telegram is like whatsapp don't think telegram is some secret software telegram is just like whatsapp which is used for sharing material got it the link is given in the description of the video sahil please check it out there okay so how do we do it let's see one can go to x one can go to y so i'll write a cross b as what it is 1 comma x and 1 comma y then i'll have 3 can go to x 3 can go to y so i'll have 3 comma x and 3 comma y i hope you guys got that then 5 can go to x 5 can go to y so i'll have 5 comma x and 5 comma y are you all cool with it my dear children so that is my a cross b and see arrow diagram makes it laddu is it only laddu laddu in a plate given to you so all you need to do is just receive the plate got it so please note it down i hope you guys have got it i hope you enjoyed today's session because with that my dear boys and girls we are going to the homework question okay so that's about it note down the homework i am gonna show you this only for five seconds one two three four and five so please comment down the answers in the comment section i told you there is a competition going on between 11th standard and 12th standard so please try to comment down the answers after the class and now coming to the most important part what everybody have been waiting for guys six o'clock that is 45 in 45 minutes from now i have an announcement what announcement i'm going to talk about something important something very very important for students so please be there it'll be only 15 20 minutes it'll be a very short session got it it is about vip who are vips to vedantu obviously students man so for you guys only it is special not for teachers so please come to the class at six o'clock okay i'm going to talk about something important now many of you want to join my batch which started on may 10th in case you want to join i will show you the procedure but before i show you the procedure i'll tell you why i have given the procedure to join why vedantu i told you online is the way the coronavirus situation is getting worse and worse by the day and because of lockdown we are coming back to normalcy but six months to one year might be online and in online vedantu is the pioneer we started in 2015 when nobody was there, when coronavirus was not there. So we have live classes. After the classes, we have assignments given to students. We have notes and recordings given to the students. After which, every two weeks, we'll have a test, one in JE mains and one in JE advanced level. Then you have the doubt solving feature, which you can access if you are buying the doubt solving app. And you can post any question as a doubt and they will solve it for you. Okay. Yes, yes, Gautam Sai. No problem, Gautam. That's totally fine. Okay. And people, all of this feature is inclusive of this wave platform. So you see, Vani Ma'am is teaching over here. She gave a question to her students. And this is how our platform is. It is not like Zoom. It is not like your Google Meet. It is made for teaching, guys. Vedantu's platform, na? we developed it on our own. We have a technology team which works on building products which are good for students to make learning very interesting. And that is what you see here. We ask a quiz. Here everybody answers. Na? So I don't know who is answering correct, who is answering wrong. Because the chat goes very fast. But in Vedantu, we track everybody. We know which student is answering what. And you can see that over here. You can chat with us during the class. You can unmute yourself. And it's going to be brilliant okay if you want to be here if you want to see me here if you join my class you will see me over here in the place of Vani ma'am and if you want to do that and if you want to secure a top rank in iit because vedantu has done it the next doubt is sir has online education given top ranks guys i used to teach the toppers batch one of my student got all india rank 38 and one of my student got all india rank 41 not in mains but in advance okay so there are ways to improve there are always scope for legendary improvement in online and we have proved it 
not just this year but last year the previous year and the years to come as well so we will guide you the only thing is your belief your trust and your hard work that you guys have to give because without that it won't work first you need to believe if you don't believe you'll always feel doubtful you'll always feel negative sir by mistake i joined i don't like it it is not tough they are not teaching advanced level see that should not happen that will not happen when you have full belief got it so belief is first thing you should trust your teachers trust your mentors second is hard work without hard work nothing comes in life if anybody says otherwise they are just lying they are just fooling you got it you have to work hard i am not saying join vedantu you will be all india rank 1 no you have to work even if you join vedantu you have to work but we will guide you we will tell this is the good direction this is better do sengage do these exercises now like that we will give you our guidance and that is what makes you a topper okay so i hope you guys are all clear and guys for 2 years the price is 54000 if you want to join my batch i know the moment i say 54000 people will be like sir 54000 sir what should i do sir it is as expensive as apple iphone so guys this is for 2 years for those who are in 11th standard for 2 years it is 54000 nowhere in india you will get that price because i am in this field i know what the competitors price are you can check it 53000 for 2 years is a massively good deal for the quality of teachers you get in vedantu vedantu's teachers are all from iits and nits they are all very experienced they can share you their life story they can motivate you and they can get you excited okay so in case you want to study with us check it out you can even pay monthly monthly fees is 2700 2700 and 6 days in a week you have classes 6 days in a week you have classes okay so even monthly you can join if you can afford yearly that also you can do this also you can pay emi i think emi for 2 years comes out on 4500 okay when is the next class 6 o'clock today and 9 o'clock tonight then tomorrow again 9 o'clock got it now what is this classic classic you will get everything here plus doubt solving pro plus means everything in classic plus personal mentor personal mentor means there will be one person per subject who will guide you over phone every day they will tell today you make a time table this is the time table follow it like that they will follow up with you they will clear your doubts they will take one to one sessions for doubts so that is called personal mentor you will have one personal mentor every subject math physics chemistry so if you want that you have to take pro plus it will be slightly expensive because you get four people right math physics chemistry biology so four people you will get for four subjects so obviously it's going to be slightly expensive got it and that's about it i will show you how to join i will do that because i want to ensure that you guys are aware because guys my my batch has my batch started on may 10th so even if you join today you will not be missing out a lot okay because i have just taken three classes as of now so this is the youtube video our video you see yourself there are lots of students right this is you guys you are messaging right now now come down if you come down you will see here subscribe to vedantu pro below the youtube video so all you need to do is click on that you will be taken to this page and you can choose which plan you want this is for 11th standard grade 11 21 to 23 batch okay and you will have unlimited access until exam day exam date can be anything uh guys is it clear now is it clear now hello okay i don't know why mic mic problem is it okay 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 wait let me check. hello is it better now okay so all you need to do is click on this okay okay guys i hope now you are clear just click on this and then get it i will end it right here okay i will end it right here
yeah yeah guys i am not sure anyway i have i have explained it you guys check it out this is a telegram group join it when you feel like because here we update all our session pdfs and finally subscribe to the channel share the video and like it okay all the best we will meet in the next session 6 o'clock take care guys bye bye